have a mind to reason and to make decisions. To wear a cross is idolatry and polytheism. God is one and there is no one like him. I was born in an orthodox family where is the flat full of icons and each family member has a cross on the neck and on Sunday everyone going to the church. When I was 10, I recognized that I just really don't want to go to the church because I have so much questions about this religion. Then when I was 18, I tried to go back to the religion of my family, but something prevented me from that. The Bible, as all scriptures, are about monotheism. So I couldn't understand why, why people going to the church full of icons and praying next to them, and each icon have a different prayer. Why? If there is just only one God, so why they don't pray just to Him? All these questions make me confused. It's like, I believe in God, but I don't want to belong to this religion where there is so much questions and no answers. On the question, what is your religion? I was answering that I believe in God. How happy I am now when I can say that I am Muslim. I found out about Islam when I was 20. I started studying, reading, searching just to get more information about this religion. And I started to study in one online Russian school of Islam. And each lesson gave me more understanding. And each lesson gave me more answers on the questions what I didn't get before. I was full of stereotypes that Islam is about endless restrictions and prohibitions. All these wrong thoughts was destroyed during my studying in this school. Once when I wasn't Muslim, my husband asked me a question. Why are you wearing the cross? What's the purpose of that? And to be honest, I couldn't give him the proper answer. But this question forced me to think about that. To think why I'm doing that. And I understood that I cannot blindly follow what I was taught as a child. I'm a big girl and I'm responsible for my life. I have a mind to reason and to make decisions. To wear a cross is idolatry and polytheism. God is one and there is no one like him. With these thoughts, I took off the cross. And you know what happens? Nothing. Nothing besides that I took off the cross and renounced sin of polytheism. My studying in this school of Islam, it's like a full chapter of my life. During this studying, I got the knowledge, understanding, answers on my questions, understanding what is good and what is bad, and the most important, I got the feeling that I'm on the right way. This time of studying was the beginning of new life, new me. Every day from graduation from the school of Islam till the day when I converted to Islam, I was thinking that if tomorrow I'll go out, I will get hit by a car, a strong asthma attack, or airplane will not land, and I will die without saying shahada. These thoughts inspired fear and haunted. 5th May 2020, I converted to Islam. I just said to my husband, I want to convert to Islam now. The most important was now. Because before I was speaking about that, that will happen one day. But this time, it was decision what must be done now. It was decisive I want now. Each my step on the way to Islam was deliberate, considered and from heart. I didn't done it in a fit of emotions or under pressure of someone. It was just my decision. Because of that, I know for sure that I will never regret about my choice. Islam, it's a natural way of life. To be a Muslim 
means to be harmony with yourself. Islam is not a new religion, as all prophets had one religion, one conviction, and urged people to believe in one God. In Islam, I found myself and come down in a religious search. Islam show me this road from which I definitely do not want to turn.